Hello, reformers, and welcome to War Sword Conquest. Now, when we left off, of course, this is well, this is looking at a different faction this time, a different race as well, because I, I felt like I think that's actually a really cool idea, because then, of course, we can get another look at something else before the next hotfix comes in, and that hotfix might, and I stress might, not be save game compatible. It probably isn't going to be save game compatible, so I thought, yeah, why not? Let's... Let's just start a new game, of course, because the, the previous one wasn't save game compatible either. And we, then we can try out a different race. So I'm thinking... Uh, I'm leaning towards Beastmen right now. Leaning towards Beastmen because that's kind of cool. And we haven't seen them before at all in actual fact. I didn't even check out their units technically when we were having a look. So, yes... Let's have a look here. Now, the ones, uh, well, shall we say the races that we have not played. We have not played an elf. Any of them, in actual fact. We have not played elves. Might, might be kind of fun to play elves. Uh, I don't know, bows and all that sort of stuff. And we, of course, have not played halflings because they are an addition to the mod in the new version, of course. We can throw pies at things and we can take the one ring into Mordor and stuff like that. But otherwise... Of course, we do have Night Goblins and Forest Goblins. Not entirely sure the difference between the two, because obviously we used to play, I would assume, a Forest Goblin. But it was just Goblin before. I, I, don't, I don't, yeah. Obviously, the Night Goblins are just a minor faction in this. And then, of course, we have Chaos. The new models are looking pretty cool. And Saurus. I actually think that the Lizardmen are actually very, very stable, very good faction and a good race as well. But I think for this, even though we may experience some crashes, which would be extremely annoying... I'm going to go for Beastmen. Hopefully they are not going to crash too much, and we'll go for that because, well, it's the most unique, in my opinion, out of all of these. And we have played Skaven before, and we have played Skeletons before, we've played Chaos before, but not with the new models, but that's absolutely fine. So let's do Beastmen. There we are. Okay, so, wow, a lot of people hate us. Actually, everyone hates us apart from the Realm of Chaos. That is hilarious. Okay, so we are going to have... A hilariously fun time, aren't we? Yes, very much. You were born years ago, one of the great forests of the old world. Your father was... Hmm, I'm actually unsure about that. I think a tactician would actually be really cool because, uh, well, if that gives me tactics, which I'm hoping it will, that will mean that we can actually overwhelm our opponent. And isn't that what beastmen are all about? I'm actually unsure about that. Ah, uh, which god do you worship? Oh, yes, okay, so... Yeah, there's going to be a lot of shall we say, discussion about this in the comments. And again, I literally only know that Korn likes blood and Nurgle likes diseases. I do not know the other two as much. I think Slanesh is more to do with the sort of shadows and backstabbing things and, and all that kind of thing. But otherwise, I literally do not know. But I think we're probably going to be playing with Korn right here as we want to we, we, we wanna have a little bit of that coppery taste in our mouths, don't we? So let's go with that. And what are we best known for? Well, I do make some pretty okay videos. So, I mean, uh, oh, that's not there. Oh, oh, well, okay. That's kind of unfortunate. Okay, well, I, I have murdered many people. I mean, not what, what? No, I haven't murdered many pe people. I mean, nothing, nothing. I do make a decent loaf of bread. No, that's a lie too. Okay, well, drinking the blood of an entire empire patrol, that's pretty good. I, I actually think that's pretty nice. I, I think we should do that. I think we should really do that murdering a Bretonian princess. But what do we do to her before that? Who knows? Do we ransom her or, or other other things? No. We're going to drink the blood of an entire empire patrol because of course we are. Of course we are. Okay, so let's have a look here. I, yeah, a blood oath. We have to do a blood oath, surely. Yeah, we're going to do a blood oath. Okay, you never thought you would be a bold and aggressive leader, but the murder of your brother on your doorstep killed a drunken noble from being from an insignificant family. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that's kind of not really sort of accurate, I would say, but nevertheless, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so we have been given light armor, a beast man hand axe, and dried meat. Well, that's good. As you can see, we do have three in tactic skill. That's kind of disappointing. I was hoping for four... But obviously I just missed out on the other extra point of tactics. Not my, well, not, not really my thing there. But okay, it's absolutely fine. 
So let's go for some additional athletics there. And we are literally just going to be pumping strength as much as possible. I'm going to be going for as much power strike and iron flesh as I can as well. Actually... Am I going to do that? Well, we have one in Pathfinding already, so that's going to have to be enough. Usually, I love, love to go for an additional Pathfinding point. I usually like to get three, but we're just going to have to make good decisions here and hopefully prevent ourselves from being absolutely murdered. Maybe. Yeah, let's just see whether that actually works, shall we? All right, so we have come up with a name. Yes, I actually had to think of one there, and I came up with... Lemon, because we're a bit sour, and we're not actually yellow. Are we yellow? Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Yes, we're going to find out. Okay, so unfortunately, I don't have the ability to spec into two-handed weapons here any more than I already have, so hopefully we'll be given a two-handed. That should be cool. Now, here we go. We look a bit horny, i got to say. We look a bit horny, and maybe... Okay. Whoa. Okay. Ah, wow, he's looking pretty cool, I gotta say. He's looking pretty cool. Can I randomize him at all? Nope, I cannot randomize anything about him whatsoever, but do I want to? Do I actually want to? Probably not. So, let us go done. And where do we want to start? Well, I think starting in the Beastman domain is probably going to be the best thing to do. But of course, we do have to worry about a couple of things, uh, like everyone hating us apart from the Realm of Chaos. So I guess we'll just head on in here and see what's going on. Okay, so there's some deserters already. Not a good start. Actually, not a good start at all. But it is actually very nice. I have to say that the surrounding area of the Beastman territory does seem to actually be relatively safe for the most part. And that's saying quite a bit. Okay, so we have a one-handed, hilariously enough, one-handed axe, even though we have two-handed weapon proficiency, and we have some dried meat. So we're going to head on to North Gore right here, and we're going to see what's going on. Chaos Zealots. Ooh, that's actually really nice. Chaos Zealots already in the area, so that's actually pretty good. So we've got some Ungors here. I'm going to try and get as many recruits as I can. There's a huge amount of Beastmen Warherds around here, which... I suppose it's going to mean that we have a lot more security than the vampire start that we previously saw. So, yeah, that's, I guess that's kind of good, isn't it? So, at least now we might actually get a decent start, rather than one where we are constantly picked on by everyone and everything. Oh, and the Beastmen have apparently made peace with the High Elves, because of course they have. I mean, really, they, they're bound to just sit down around an open fire and drink blood together, because that's exactly what I can see the High Elves doing. Ah, uh, exactly. Okay, so let's go over to Barb Claw here. And I don't have enough money. Oh, really? I do not have enough money. Why? Why do I not have enough money? Okay, so there was actually someone around here. Chaos Zealots. Okay, so I have seven Ungor. Are we actually able to do this? I'm going to say no, but I'm also going to say let's do it. Because, wow, these guys actually look really cool. Okay, so, yeah, is this a robbery, eh? <laughs> no, I, I think they pretty much just want to kill us pretty pretty badly. Okay, so these guys have clubs. I actually have a pretty decent axe. Look at the reach on this axe. It disappears when you swing it, which is kind of cool. <laughs> I suppose. Yes, I suppose. Okay, so this is going to be kind of amusing because I have never fought Chaos Zealots before with the vampire that we created, Count Grayson, of course. I decided, yeah, I'm going to try and find some Chaos Zealots. Never could. Never could. And then, of course, the hotfix came out. So, yes, I did not have any time to basically fight any of those. But we're going to try our very best to actually deal some good damage here. I'm going to try and kill them myself. As much as I, yes, as much as I can anyway. Wow, we are actually not taking that much damage at all. And we're dealing some, some okay, aren't we? Not bad. Okay, so let's, come on, let's kill them. Let's kill them. Yes. I actually have to deal a lot of damage here. If I don't deal a lot of damage myself, I think we are going to lose. So maybe that's the case. Yes, come on. Yes. Okay, so we are actually losing, however. That is unfortunate. Very in actual fact. Come on, I have the range. I have the... Come on now. Come on, Chaos Zealots. Let's do this. You are not going to kill me, even though you have fast swords. 
kind of annoying that you have fast swords, I have to say. Yes, come on. Yes. Yeah, co come on. Yes, I advanced in level. Come on. Yes, okay, so we have two enemies remaining, and I am at 1% HP. Yes, are you going to run from me, you coward? Yes, take that. And there we go. So that's how you do it. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'd just like to say that I have no idea how I was able to do any of that, but apparently Corn has blessed me with otherworldly strength. But apparently Korn has blessed me with otherworldly strength. Yes. Okay, so unfortunately we don't actually... Oh. Apparently we do have some prisoners for some reason. Not entirely sure how we're able to do that. We have no prisoner management whatsoever. But I guess I'm able to take a couple there. And now we can take a huge amount of these. Our, our shield... Uh, shield? What? Our axe actually dealt a lot of damage. And that was actually pretty good. So we're just going to take everything. Absolutely everything that we can. Yes. And 449 gold. Yes, thank you very much. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. So, more Ungors. More Ungors. Of course. Doom Gorge. Doom Gorge is right by the side of us here. And we will be making our way through Lair of Cruelty. That sounds like a pleasant place to go on holiday. Hmm. We probably won't do that right now, though. We do want to make sure that we make our way over here and level up relatively well and bear in mind what am i gonna what am i gonna do ungor warriors i suppose so i'd like to get some beast men gores uh, uh, i say that's the thing i have no idea what these things become even though i did look at the troop tree did not really look at it in depth at least at the lower tier units so let's try and get a sort of critical mass of beast men because see that's the thing those chaos zealots were actually relatively easy but the point is is that we were outnumbered and we had lowest tier units ever so it was kind of bad but let's see what we can do with our strength now let's get some more power strike yes more power strike we want to be able to do as much damage as possible and of course maybe we'll be able to take on a much greater party next time of course we are Wait a minute, we are at 33% HP now. We are restoring ourselves, it, yeah, albeit slowly, we are restoring ourselves. Who's that? No, probably not going to deal with that guy. Come on, leave me alone. Thank you very much. Yes. Leave me alone, you terrible people. Yes, of course. Okay, so, wait a minute. Oh, I, I was a little bit worried about that. I was very, very worried about those Beastmen scouts there. Yes, very, very worried. Okay, so, ah, we've already recruited from there that is irritating okay so yeah I'm, I'm just gonna cut away and I'm actually just gonna recruit a bunch and then we'll see what we can do about fighting something a little bit bigger and maybe partake in a guild master quest once we have a suitable amount of units all right so we found some more chaos zealots here just as I was running away well, not running away but moving away from splint and as you can see we now have 29 ungor units and I'm actually gonna take a quick look at the troop trees because I definitely want to make sure that we are leveling them up into something reasonable and not something terrible. So, yes, Ungor Halfhorns. Definitely don't want to go for those because they don't really go into anything. They're kind of meh, not really particularly good. Although they're a standard unit and they can be leveled up relatively easily. But we want advancement. Yes, the Beastman is all about advancement and promotions. And no doubt one of these guys is bound to be the CEO of our party in no time. And I'm going to be pushed to being the... Yes, underling. Yeah. Well, yes, whatever the case, we do have these guys that actually eventually become Beastman Raider Champions, which of course we are definitely interested in getting. But for now, I think we're just going to go down the Beastman, Gore, Gore, Foe Render. These are the guys that we saw who were the deserters. So yeah, we definitely did not want to attack those. They had about 11 or 12 of those and they have some pretty decent stats as it is. So probably not a good idea to attack those. But we're going to try and get these. Yes, we're going to try and get these because they are riding Tusk Gores and Razor Gores as well. And, well, you can just see, they are amazing. So, let's do it. Let's attack these guys. Okay, so, yeah, now we're starting to get relation drops, of course. We're starting to get some relation drops. Why do I... Oh. 
Okay, well, it appears these particular, yes, particular fellows, they are going to be very happy indeed to see us. They are... Uh, well, uh, this, uh, that's actually not too bad. That is actually not too bad because, of course, even though I am not particularly happy about these guys actually being all around us and stuff, it is, of course, giving us an opportunity to actually see the higher tier units in battle. And I say in battle very loosely because, of course, by the time we actually get anywhere, <laughs> it will all be over. So it appears one of our friends, shall we say, one of our friends has joined us. We are gaining prisoner management. I assume that these guys actually have prisoner management in some way. Perhaps. Maybe. And that is, well, contributing to that somewhat. Yeah, this guy actually did help us out there, so that's kind of annoying. But, well, what can you do? I'm not really going to blame him for that. And, yeah, we could go to the training field, actually, and train our units up a little bit, but I don't know how fun that is, actually, to watch. So, probably not going to do that right now, but I would like to go into the town, see if we can gain a quest of some sort. Hello there. Yes, meet the guildmaster immediately. I like that a lot. Do you happen to have a job for me? Oh. I will escort the caravan to Lashiek. Oh, yes, I would love to do this. Not really, actually. But if it fails, I don't particularly care either. There's Lashiek down there. It's part of the Kingdom of Araby, of course. Oh, actually, the Sultanate of Araby this time. I remember when it was the Kingdom of Araby, actually. Okay, so that's absolutely fine. Camp of Skulls. We're going to go and sell all of this stuff that we obviously gained from the previous fight. Oh, my. Our trade skill is absolutely pitiful, really. I mean, see, that's the funny thing. The mod creators have actually balanced this particular version rather nicely for merchant builds. So if you want to do that, you can actually do that. So maybe it would be an opportunity for us to maybe experiment with a couple of extra things. Ooh, I'd love to get that blood letter. And who is that? Well, he's looking cool. He is a chaos. Yes, he is a chaos unit. So that's actually very nice. There's Marius. Marius Imperator. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's not him. Okay, so there's a blood letter. Unfortunately, I have no money. So, I will not be taking him, but I will be taking this guy. He does not have any lore, so us skipping that is not going to be too bad. He actually has some pretty decent gear as well. Of course, I can't use it because I am a beast man. And he is huge, as you can see. He's basically Colossus or something. I mean, really, he is absolutely amazing. So, let's actually have a look at his stats. He's actually terrible. <laughs> He's actually terrible on the stats side, but he is a blank canvas. And I am sure we're going to, we are going to paint the town red with him by our side. But, yeah, he is going to deal some pretty nice damage with that spear of his. So, hopefully, we'll be able to get that happening. So, let us, where, where is the, where is the ca caravan? Greetings, you must be our escort. Yes, my name is Lemorn. I will lead you to Lashiek. Yes, I'll take you through a safe route. Will I? Will I take you through a safe route? Not really. I'm a beast man. I don't particularly care about you that much. Ooh, hello. There are some Skaven underworld patrols here. Not particularly happy about attacking them. Could you could you leave me alone? Thank you very much. You do have something against me, I'm pretty sure. Skaven underworld and wood elves have made peace. That's kind of weird. Okay. Well, that's that's perfectly fine. I'm I'm not really discounting them or anything like that. Where are these guys? Come on, caravan master. I know there's only one of you, but still. Deserters? Ooh, definitely don't want to be dealing with those. Gunners. They're actual gunners there. Okay, so let's speed up a little bit. There are still a little bit of frame drops, but of course that is, I think, due to the amount of lords and things running around. I mean, there are many, many patrols. I mean, you saw how many patrols the beastmen actually have, so... Where's where's the caravan? There it is. Ugh. Okay, so... How do I get to Lashiek right now? So I'm going to click on this and see where our player actually goes. See where our character actually goes. Come on now. Okay, where where is he going? Okay, I'm pretty sure that Beastman Patrol has killed our caravan, perhaps. Do I care at this point? Not entirely sure. But I'm going to cut away and we'll see what happens. Alright, so yes. I tried to take the caravan down to Lashiek and that was never going to happen. You know why? The High Elves. Yeah, there's actually patrols that are after us very, very badly. They have 62 units in them, and they have very high tier troops, or at least what I saw, they had some pretty decent troops. So instead, I'm attacking some Skaven units, because we're going to get a couple of renowned value for this. A little bit of renown, and as you can see, we have a lot of hilariously 
Yeah, it's hilariously running ungores here. Oh, and they actually do have a couple of mounted units too. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna see how well our ungores do against these guys. This is a Molder Rat Rider. Ow! How dare you? Can I can I kill you? Can I kill you? That's the thing. I think it's unlikely. Uh, yeah, come on. They have ignore pain. They have ignore pain. Yes, there we go. Lamorne has advanced. He has now become an avocado. That's fantastic. Okay, so otherwise, I think we just have to. Come on. Yes. Ooh, yeah. We're actually getting some pretty decent kills, I gotta say. Look at that. Okay, so as a beast man, apparently doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Not entirely sure how that's even possible. I suppose it's because we actually have a decent weapon this time. Because before, we did not. And, oh yes, do bear in mind, if you are starting as a vampire in the new hotfix, then they do give you gear. Yes, they do actually give you gear, which is rather nice, because, of course, beforehand, they didn't, for some unknown reason. So, not entirely sure what's what's up with that, but they do actually give you gear now, so that's pretty cool. But otherwise, there we are. We did survive, and yet again, I still... Well, I'm going to release these, because, really, getting some plague monks and maybe... Clan rats, probably a good idea. Why not? We have advanced to level 4 now as well. Okay, so I think I'm going to get some more intelligence here so we can get pathfinding finally to 3. And then we're going to get some prisoner management because, yes, we must get some prisoner management. Well, let's just level up our pole arms a little bit there. Thank you. And, yes, we didn't get any loot there, unfortunately enough. But we do have a couple of level ups here. Unfortunately, our Ungor warriors are taking a little bit of time to level up. Not entirely sure why, but... I suppose we'll do that. What do these guys go into? They go into the Raider Half Horns. Yes, they do. So Ungor Warriors will be absolutely fine. And there we go. Okay, so that seems good. And okay. So, yes. Now, I think it would kind of be cool to take a look at the castle in the Camp of Skulls. If it crashes, then that's just how it's going to be. Oh, it's not. Excellent. Okay, so there you go. We get a little bit of a look at some of the unique textures that we have here. And Beast Lord Malagor. I am Lamorn. Formerly known as Orange. Yes. Okay, so do you have any tasks for me? Ah, there we go. So we do actually have a hunt down the Queen Risperer. W Risperer? Yes. Whisperer, thank you very much. And yes, he is somewhere. Where is he? He is currently believed to be at Feral Pit, which is right next to us. So I guess we'll participate in that in the next episode. Do you want to see more? Do you want to see more? Well, let me know in the comments and hit that button somewhere. I, I don't know. You don't have to. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.